guys welcome back to my channel i have two days worth of cleaning motivation for you guys and i also have two recipes to also share with you all so stay tuned Alright guys, so right now I'm getting ready to show you how I make the red beans and rice in the slow cooker. So last night I put the red kidney beans to soak in some water in a bowl. And I just dumped out the water and just put the, uh, the beans in here. And this slow cooker, because I, I get asked all the time, is a pioneer woman slow cooker. And I got it from Walmart. So I already went ahead and cut up all of the vegetables so i cut up three celery celery steaks half a big onion because the onion that i have is huge so i did half of a onion i did one green bell pepper i already added the garlic in here and one pack of kielbasa because that is my favorite sausage and then it asks for you to add uh, one tablespoon of worcestershire sauce a little bit of chili powder and some kosher salt but whenever I, I put seasonings in there i really don't measure i just kind of eye it and then you will also need seven cups of water so what's good thing about this recipe is it doesn't take a lot of ingredients it's pretty cheap to make and also it gives you leftovers so it's so easy only thing you gotta do is just add the ingredients in here the vegetables and stuff I'm just gonna go ahead and add the water. That says add one tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sure, sure sauce. <laughs> Let me just add a little bit. Alrighty. Some chili powder. And some kosher salt so then I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up I prefer slow cooker um, recipes slow cooker and instant pot recipes because it's a lot easier for me because I y'all I stay so busy so I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook on high for six hours all right you guys so dinner is finished and i just tasted it and it tastes so good make sure you taste it to see if it needs any more seasonings try it out and then if you feel like it needs more just go ahead and add so one more. of my cucumbers was going bad so i went ahead and chopped it up and chopped some tomatoes up and drizzled it with olive oil apple cider vinegar and some sea salt so we'll have that along with some rice so that is what we are having for dinner tonight I will make sure to link this recipe for the red beans in the slow cooker down in my description okay, you guys so i'm getting ready to actually clean my shower i won't film that part because this bathroom is very narrow and it's very hard to film in here normally i clean my shower while i take a shower i usually have a dish brush but it's been a while since i cleaned it while i was in there and let's just say it needs a little bit of a deep. so i went ahead and sprayed it down with some warm vinegar so i just put it in the microwave i would say about two cups and then i put a quarter cup of dawn dish soap so the reason i do it warm so like that the dish uh the dawn dish soap could dissolve in there well and i just sprayed the shower down and I'm gonna let it sit there and then i'm gonna go in there and go to work i will also be using the scrubby bubbles magic eraser for the shower this works amazing i just bought to try it out because I love buying products for cleaning I don't know what it is you guys and they works pretty well so I'll be using this and then I will be using also where's my brush I'll be using this brush as well so to get like the bottom part in that area right there 
so that I can clean it and then I use this. But I won't be able to film that, you guys, because it's very hard to fit, fit the camera in that position. Now, normally I would use bleach for that because bleach, this thing would work amazing on that stuff. But you guys, the way my sinuses are set up right now, like I'm on, on the struggle bus and I have been fighting a cold. So I can't really use anything strong, but the Dawn and Vinegar mix works amazing. You just have to let it sit there for a little bit. All right, bit. you guys, so the shower is finally clean. Everything's nice and shiny. So the Vinegar and Dawn mix definitely does a very good job. Now it's time for me to finish up cleaning the bathroom. I wasn't planning on doing a very deep clean because honestly my bathroom didn't really need it. I try to stay on top of my bathroom. Most of the time I wipe the bathroom down every single day just so I don't have to clean a big mess because the bathroom is my least favorite room of the house to clean. So right now for the rest of the month of December, I will be posting every Wednesday instead of every Wednesday and Sunday. So like that I can enjoy the Christmas holiday with my family and not spend it constantly cleaning and filming you guys. Guys, I'm pretty sure you all will understand. Have in the clear bottle is uh, half of it is vinegar and the other half is rubbing alcohol with some Dawn, Dawn dish soap. So like, and it did such a great job. I kind of um, changed up a little bit of what I normally make in my DIY cleaner, but because with this one I did not dilute it or add essential oils, it worked even better. It definitely smelled a little strong like roving alcohol, but the smell to me, it does not bother me at all. But maybe if someone else were to try it, it probably would bother them. I will be using the odor band to clean my toilet so what I will do is spray it down and let wait a few minutes and let it disinfect and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the DIY cleaner to wipe down my closet door I've been asked how did I like the odor band I love it I think it does a great job to me I feel like it smells like baby powder or baby oil it smells something like baby I'm 
so shy when it comes to you but i guess you're curious huh so let me show you what i can do cause i i don't mind taking my time stay in this bed now never get out cause i would love wasting time down my bathroom door I noticed that my baseboards were pretty dirty so I just went ahead and wiped them down imagine you without me shakes me to the core oh yeah and you find another beautiful flower and I go ahead and compare myself to her My boys unload the dishwasher for, for me from the night from the dishes from the night before and I'm gonna go ahead and put all the morning dishes and the lunch dishes in the dishwasher y'all the dishes pile up really fast so thank God for dishwashers
guys do not pay attention to my socks and my house shoes i like to look cute so i like to wear my house shoes but then at the same time my feet are cold so i like to wear fuzzy socks so i just combine those and put those together but i'm looking back i'm like girl what you doing we are so enjoying this video so far don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any one of my videos guys thank you so much Once I finish sweeping, I'm going to go ahead and mop the floor. I'm going to be using Ajax and I found mine at Dollar Tree. I think a lot of people find theirs at Dollar Tree. So I hope you all are able to find it if you're looking for it because it smells amazing.
guys so I'm getting ready to put the bathroom mats in here I also got dirty cloths and stuff for the floor I also am gonna put the other dirty ones that I have in here as well and I'm gonna show you how I wash it so what I do is luckily my washing machine has a sanitizing cycle with it's called sanitize with oxy so I'm gonna put some oxy powder in here and then I also put tons of vinegar in there and you cannot smell the vinegar but it definitely helps clean it I use it as a fabric softener so here's the sanitize and when you sanitize it's always on hot water setting so it turns the detergent the laundry detergent off since I already put oxyclean on there and I just have to do this just turn it on so basically it'll fill it up well halfway with hot water and then let it sit there and sanitize in the hot water it's now the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and do two loads of laundry it's been like two three days since I last did laundry and it had already piled up but usually that's just what happens when you are a family of five but I'm trying to make sure that I get to enjoy the weekend without doing any chores or laundry so comment down below what do you guys do this past weekend and so you guys could keep up with what I'm doing because I'm trying to enjoy this holiday as much as possible because this year has been crazy I have been vlogging what we have been doing. I've been doing grocery hauls over on my vlogging channel, Simply Yesenia. And the link to my channel is down in my description box, just in case you guys want to check it out.
You broke my heart a million times. Can't count the times I, I made you cry. Oh, it's such a mess now, and we're burning out. I get so sad at the thought of losing you. forgot to mention earlier that because I know I'm gonna get it asked that you did not see me use laundry detergent and that's because my laundry machine already has the laundry detergent in a dispenser and it releases the soap into each load so that's not something that I have to add every single time so you don't really get to see that but whenever I wash clothes I always hang dry my daughter's clothes like her her shirts actually and then for my shirts I hang dry all of my shirts and my hoodies and my cardigans and sweaters because it's if I put in the dry it's just gonna shrink and I don't buy myself clothes that frequently to constantly keep replacing it for me to wash our mask and I wash our mask all of the time you have to wash those masks because the bacteria and the stinky old breaths <laughs> sorry but basically I put them in the sack and then I wash it in the hot water setting with some Clorox laundry sanitizer or the Lysol whichever one works for me to fold clothes and normally I don't fold my kids clothes at least my two older ones clothes because they're 10 and 11 and they fold it and put their own clothes away but I wanted to watch Virgin River on Netflix and whenever I watch any type of show I have to do something it's something that I have in my mind that I have to be productive even though I'm watching TV so normally if I watch TV I'm folding something most of the time or cooking at the very least so I'm watching Virgin River so if you guys have not watched that show it is so so good and they finally dropped the second season so I was doing that while I um folded my kids clothes Just 
keep you my more a while Cause I go fast, yeah I go hard Wanna find some peace So I pray to God to find a way To fix it all So now it's time for me to cook dinner. I have the water getting ready to start boiling for the jumbo shells that I'm getting ready to make. So it's easy stuff, jumbo shells. It's a meatless in, uh, recipe, but I tried to add meatless meals to my menu. So the marinara that I will be using is the Rayo's marinara, and I get these from Costco. You can use whichever one you want, and I will make sure to link, link the recipe down in my description box. It asks for six ounces of Parmesan cheese. It asks for 30 ounces of cottage cheese. So this one is like, how many? Uh, 24 ounces. So that's why I ordered two when I did my grocery pickup. Eight ounces of mozzarella cheese, but I ordered a big bag because I'm going to use it for another recipe. One egg. It asks for kosher salt, the jumbo shells, and some parsley and basil. So I won't take you exactly step by step throughout the whole thing, but of course that's why I leave the recipe in my description box.
this meal was so good so i definitely recommend that you try it i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to get that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos guys bye